To draw the structures passing inside and outside the common tendinous ring in the orbit, we start by drawing a simple triangle, and then we add a quick line up at the top and at the bottom, and now this gives us our superior orbital fissure, our optic canal, and our inferior orbital fissure, which is of course larger than this, but for the purposes of the common tendinous ring, we're only dealing with the uppermost tiny portion of it. To finish the jovicogram off, we simply draw a large circle like this, making sure to include the bulk of the superior orbital fissure and the optic canal, but to leave out the inferior orbital fissure. To finish the jovicogram off, we just add our structures. We have four in the superior orbital fissure outside the common tendinous ring, four inside, two in the optic canal within the common tendinous ring, and one in the inferior orbital fissure below outside the common tendinous ring. Uh, now for clarity, I'm going to switch to a prepared image just so we can go over the structures. So we have our triangle, our split between our superior orbital fissure and optic canal, split between the superior and inferior orbital fissure, our common tendinous ring, our structures, and now I'm going to throw on our labels. So here we have in the superior orbital fissure, outside the common tendinous ring, we have our superior ophthalmic vein, frontal nerve, lacrimal nerve, and trochlear nerve. In the group within the superior orbital fissure, Within the common tendinous ring, we have the two branches of our third cranial nerve, the oculomotor nerve, our abducent nerve, and our nasociliary nerve. Within the optic canal, also within the common tendinous ring, we have our optic nerve and ophthalmic artery. And finally, in the inferior orbital fissure, outside the common tendinous ring, we have our inferior ophthalmic vein. So if you draw this out a few times, you'll be able to picture it pretty quickly in your head afterwards and not need to draw it out any longer. And the important thing here is to remember that you're just getting down the pattern of structures. So we'll just go through it once more quickly. We have our triangle, two splits, and our common tendinous ring. And then we have four structures in each part of the superior orbital fissure, inside and outside the common tendinous ring, two structures in the optic canal, and one structure in the inferior orbital fissure.